I'm sure you'll remember how the Republicans in the House of Representatives tried to compel Attorney General Merrick Garland to turn over the audio recording, the interview between Robert Herr, special counsel, and Joe Biden. This was about the classified documents situation. Now, Robert Herr said that Joe Biden was forgetting things, and now the Republicans in the House want the recording to try to edit it down and show how Joe Biden's losing it. Well, Joe Biden said, I'm issuing an executive privilege, which he's entitled to do because, well, he's the fucking sitting president. And Merrick Garland said, yeah, we're not turning it over. So then the Republicans in the House uh, vote to find Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress, which is interesting because now it goes to the DOJ. Merrick Garland is in charge of the DOJ. Not surprisingly, the DOJ said, fuck that. No, we're not going to let you charge him with contempt of Congress. So now what are they doing? They're not giving up. I'll give them that. So somebody's saying, you know, we think the sergeant of arms of the Congress should go grab Merrick Garland and bring him in. Just bring that motherfucker in. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that might be a good idea. And while you're getting Merrick Garland, you can also get Kevin McCarthy and Jim Jordan and Andy Biggs and all the rest of the motherfuckers that didn't testify and ignored a subpoena from the January 6th committee. These people love the rules as long as they don't apply to them. They're flailing now. They're trying anything. Nothing's working. And it's probably going to get crazier before it gets normal again.